Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're on iOS app, so that's iPad or iPhone, and I'm going to show you how you can colour sync. So sometimes we may have a project where we are cutting out lots and lots of different images, and when we go to make it, and we go through our layers panel, we can see that we've got a lot of layers that may only have one or two or three elements on, but then we've also got lots and lots of very similar color layers as well. So you can see here, I've got lots of shades of purple, lots of shades of pink, and it's just really unnecessary. Unless I'm using lots of little scraps and I'm happy to keep them down to one cut, what I can do is use my colour sink to try and reduce the amount of colours that I'm using. So if we just go back to my canvas and we come down to the bottom of our screen and we open up our layers panel, we can see here that we've got all of these elements and all of these different colours. And what we're going to do is we're going to consolidate the colours. So again, if we come down to the bottom of our screen, next to layers, you'll see that we've got sync. So we're going to open up sync. And this shows us all of the colours and all of the elements that are in those colours. And it puts them all together. And what we're going to do is we're going to start moving them so that we can reduce down the amount of colours we're using. So first things first, I'm going to move this penguin into the black layer and to move them, all I'm doing is clicking on the three lines. My hippo and my fish can be the same colour. The base of my bear can be black. And again, my chick, I could leave that either brown or I could move it to black. For now, I'm just going to move it to black. I've got all of these brown elements. I'm going to leave those brown. This element and this element I'm going to make because that's a very similar blue. So I'm going to make them the same blue and the same with this hippo and this wing piece because again that's very similar colours. Again this part of the bird is a very similar colour to these two so again I'm just going to select that and move it up. These two browns are very close in colour so again I'm going to move those together. And the giraffe as well. I've got a red here and then I've got these reds here. And again, they're all very similar. So I'm just going to move that one. I'm going to move this one down. And move this one into here. And I'm just going to continue doing this until I'm happy with it. So I'm not going to drastically change the colours, but when they're very similar, like these two selections of pink are very close. So rather than cutting out two colours very similar, I'm just going to move that into that section. And there you go. You can now see that I've reduced the amount of colour layers right down. And I could take it even further if I wanted to. So that's just a nice, simple, easy way of being to reduce the amount of mats that you're using by using the colour sink. As always, thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or questions, please do ask them below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you all again very soon. Bye.